Hello everybody. In this video I would like to demonstrate how Microscope Image Browser can be used to normalize image intensities for 3D or 4D datasets. I have prepared three datasets taken with a serial block face scanning collection microscopy, but the, the actual procedures are quite universal and can also work with light microscopy, for example, to deal with photo bleaching. So, um, let's start with the first dataset. It is uh, a dataset of root of Arabidopsis thaliana. And, uh, okay, it, this is 16 bit image, that's why it looks quite grayed out. So, we have to stretch the contrast so that we can see structures better. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, the problem of this data set that uh, while I'm going into the volume, I can see that my image becomes darker. And uh, I can't really resolve nicely the structures which are here on, the, on this membrane or the cell wall. Uh, to visualize this, I can switch my dataset to YZ orientation. And then here, basically, I can also see that, okay, in the beginning of dataset, my images are brighter than at the end of the dataset. So uh, this is like a problem, and it has to be fixed. And in Microscopy Image Browser, there is a procedure that allows us to uh, adjust the contrast in these situations. Uh, this is quite simple example, because the uh, uh, variation of intensities on each slice is essentially the same. So there is roughly the similar amount of the darker areas and lighter areas. So we can use the standard procedure, which is you can find in the menu, image, contrast, normalize layers. And uh, since we have only one stack, so we use this Z-stack mode. Right, normalization was done, so we go to the first slice and stretch the contrast a little bit so that we can see the image better. And then we compare it with the uh, original one. Actually, well, let's check first. This is the first slice, and then now we're going through the data set, and as you can see, the contrast is fixed, and there's no really uh, this uh, darkening uh, of the signal while I'm going through the stack. I can also see it uh, in this uh, in the YZ mode. So I'll synchronize the view with my original data set. And as you can see, this is the data set which we used uh, after the contrast normalization. And this is the original data set. So the contrast normalization helped uh, in this particular case to make image uh, intensities uniform. This is quite simple example, but frequently uh, the situation is much more complex and uh, another methods are required. Um, and for that I have another data set, which is inner ear, mouse inner ear. And uh, in this particular case it's also 16-bit image, so I start with the stretching the contrast. And uh, it's essentially the same problem, so we get the image intensities are becoming darker. So um, the problem of this kind of particular data set is that the variation of intensities, like in the beginning of the data set, we have a lot of the outside areas, while somewhere in the center of the data set there are much more cells. So variation between the uh, uh, like histogram of this image would look differently from the histogram of this image. And uh, most likely the standard procedure won't really fix the contrast issue for this kind of data. We can though try. So I will first duplicate the data set again so that we can easily compare the two before and after the procedure has been done. Uh, okay, I will use the standard procedure. So image, image, uh, contrast, normalize layers, Z-stack. the image was normalized so we have to stretch the contrast a bit so actually what we can do we can again get uh, zoom in into this mitochondria and just make sure that we see them uh, with the 
good contrast yes yeah, so like this so you can see now that the mitochondria are a little bit darker than all structures uh, that surrounds them and now so while we're going through this stack we can see that the mitochondria mitochondria becoming grayed out so they now they're much uh, lighter than in the beginning so the actual the standard procedure was not able to really resolve this problem and uh, also if we check the YZ view and uh, also synchronize it with our first data set okay let's make it uh, turn it also to this view um, yeah, let's let's find the this structure okay so th let's see this is our view and uh, now we can synchronize the two data sets and this is the original data set which has this very severe uh, darkening of the signal and this is the the contrast that was stretched using the standard procedure so the mitochondria here are darker than mitochondria there so uh, this problem can be fixed the following way so w what we need to do we need to use a brush to select the areas which have the similar distribution of intensities so for example I can start with this uh, this area so I select this area then I go through the data set and I continue se selecting the similar the areas that would have similar distribution of uh, organelles so I, I won't select this nucleus because it looks very different from the actual area that I selected in the first slice so I would keep these areas kind of selected like this now I can uh, go to the menu selection interpolate the shape and I just interpolate this area so that each slice of the data set would have this um, selected area now I can see it and to normalize intensities now I can go use another method which is also in the image contrast normalize layers based on the masked areas when I press this uh, I can select whether my selected areas are in the selection area in selection layer which is in green or in the mask layer now it's in the green so it's selection layer and now what it take uh, the algorithm just analyzes uh, intensities only in the areas that we have selected and use only that information in, o in order to stretch uh, the contrast of uh, of all uh, of complete slice okay so it's done so let's get back I clear the selection uh, let's zoom into the mitochondria and stretch the contrast to the similar way how it was earlier and now if we look through the data set we can see that the mitochondria are preserving their intensities so they are not becoming grayed out as it was in uh, when we were using the standard procedure I can also change the uh, YZ to the YZ orientation and synchronize the view and uh, for comparison so this is the original data set this is data set uh, normalized with the standard procedure and this is data set which is normalized with the procedure which using uses the uh, selected areas so in many cases it, it really helps uh, a lot with the in this uh, in some in some difficult situations uh, there is another possibility uh, uh, another example this is like cell monolayers okay it's again basically there are there are similar structures so if I look into the other orientation so I can see that okay it's becoming darker um, I'll duplicate the data set number four uh, actually like this is one of these example where the standard procedure won't really work because there is a lot of these dark areas in the beginning like here and the standard procedure won't really uh, be able to give proper coefficients for the uh, for adjustment for the normalization because the, this image definitely looks different from this image so um, one other alternative way to kind of normalize intensity uh, is to use the background signal so the way it works uh, is essentially the same as the previous step so we have to select uh, some kind of areas but in this particular case we select areas which are uh, belong to background or the areas that do not change that much so for example we can select this area which is outside of this uh, of the cells so we continue selecting this area just to make sure that I won't accidentally select one of these kind of areas that would have this kind of spots like here 
Okay, and then I'll just move it to the here, to the last slice, and then I interpolate through the data set. Okay, so it's done, and now I can use these areas to uh, uh, to normalize intensities. And this can be done in the image, contrast, normalize based on the masked background. So the background is again in the selection layer. Okay, so it was stretched, and we just have to adjust the contrast so that we can see things in the best possible way. For example, like this. And now I can see that, okay, the, my contrast on my images is... or brightness of the image this time is preserved pretty well. And I can go into the YZ mode and compare with my other data set. So this is my data set after this uh, normalization. And this is the, the original data set that has this uh, darkening of the signal. So uh, just compare them. So this is the original one and this is after the contrast normalization. So the procedure was able to fix the, the problem. So depending on the particular situation, one of these three procedures would work uh, better than the other ones. But uh, in general, they all together give this nice possibility to deal with all these uh, normalization problems which you may have in your, uh, with your data sets. Okay, I hope that was useful and thank you for attention.